your words is going to be able to form and create the atmosphere of the breakthrough that you desire. It's going to create the deliverance that you desire. It's going to bring forth the healing that you desire for your turnaround. The bad, even the affliction in your body. God will begin to turn it around and bring forth a healing. The very thing that has you in a stronghold upon your life. God will begin to bring deliverance in that hour. I declare and decree that somebody is watching this telecast on this morning. You may be been struggling with any kind of addiction, whether it's pharmaceutical or whether it's crack or whether it's marijuana. No matter what the addiction is, we serve a God that has a break destroying anointing that will come in and break the strongholds off of your life. Well, praise the Lord. I just want to take time to invite you. We're preparing for experiencing 48 hours in the presence of God. Our annual women retreat hosted by prophetess Beverly Lewis and elder Sean Rogers. You would want to come. I want to thank you all who have went registered, but also seating is limited and we only have limited space available. So if you would like to come to experience the 48 hours in the presence of God, go to the website. We will have the information located at the bottom of the screen. Go register register now. Our theme this year is it was necessary. Everything that you went through, it was necessary. I tell you, you don't want to miss this moment. You don't want to miss this time. 48 hours in the presence of the Lord. Come, I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. Welcome to the Empowering for Life broadcast. Prophetic teachings for an empowered life. Now, let's join Beverly Lewis. Well, praise the Lord. This is Prophetess Beverly Lewis. And this morning, I just greet you in the majesty name of Jesus Christ on today. Hey, listen, you all. I just want to thank you all for tuning in on this morning. But even as you're tuned in, I would like you to just invite somebody, tweet somebody, Facebook somebody, or call someone because there is a word from the Lord on today. You know, on in this time, in this season, we have so much. And so many things that is taking place around the world, in our nation, in our family, in our cities. But God has an encouraged word on this morning just for you. So just take a moment to just call someone who you may know that needs encouraging or know someone that need a word from the Lord on this morning. Amen. Because we see everything that is taking place nationwide. But I come to declare to you on this morning that we serve a God that is a God that will turn some things around in spite of what you see in the nations, in spite of what you see in the city, in spite of what you see taking place in your family, in your children's life. We serve a God that will turn things around. And on this morning, I just want to declare and decree on in and through your life on this morning that this is a month of turnaround. The word of God said we could declare and decree a thing and it shall be established. So on this morning, I want to declare and decree into your life. It is your season of turnaround. It is time for things to turn around in your life. It is time for things to turn around in our nations. It is time for things to turn around with our children's life. It is your time of turnaround glory to God you may be been struggling but I tell you on this morning the word of the Lord is to you that every struggle that you have been enduring on this season will begin to turn into your strength everything that the enemy meant for your bad will begin to turn out for good what the enemy meant to take you out God is going to give you the strength and ability to be able to jump and leap over some walls to be able to triumph over the enemy this is your time for turnaround glory to God I feel the anointing and the power of God in my inside of my belly on this morning the word of God our foundational scripture on this morning will be coming from the book of Genesis glory to God we're going to be dealing with the book of Genesis from chapter 50 and verse 20 and the word of God says but as for you Ye thought evil against me. Glory to God. I don't know who I'm talking about this morning, but some people have thought some kind of way about you, felt kind of way about you, thought all kind of evil things against you. But the word of God on today said that is the way they feel. Yeah, I'm talking about your player haters. I'm talking about those who don't even understand the season that God has in for your life at this time in this season 
I am talking about those who have spoken over your life, things that you know didn't line up with the word of God, the things that you know that God had said differently pertaining to your life. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree according to this word on this morning that, yeah, they thought it for your bad. They thought evil against you, but the word of God proclaimed, yeah, they meant it for your good. Part B of that same verse, it says, God, but yeah, God meant it unto good to bring it to pass for this day is the day to save my much people alive glory to god what the enemy thought he was going to try to take you out on god says hey look i'm going to quicken you in this situation i'm going to quicken your emotional body i'm going to cause your spirit man to come alive and to begin to thrive because what meant to take you out is only bringing much life unto you hey that's why the enemy couldn't take you out that's why the pills couldn't destroy you that's why marijuana couldn't take you out because what the enemy meant for bad glory to God God is going to turn it for your good God is about to bring forth a divine a turnaround in your life glory to God a divine turnaround what does turnaround mean prophetess it means to cause something to move around or be able to turn it into a position for a purpose let me tell you the position of your turnaround on on today and this morning that God wants you to know yes things is turning around some things is about to open things is about to shift and turn in to your life to create openings when the enemy calls every door in your life to be shut when they told you no about this and they told you no about that God is going to put a list yes he's going to not only give you favor with himself but he's going to give you favor with man in every door in your life that has been shut God is turning around and the answer will become yes in your life it means to create an opening I want to declare and decree on this morning that things are opening up for you in and through your life the second part of that it says it means to reverse to a position or uh, to uh to uh position to placement god is replacing some things he's shifting some things he's turning some things if you begin to see some things moving and some things shaking and some things shifting in your life it's only an indication that god is creating a turnaround for you in your life in and through this hour, he's changing the position for what things was to what he desired to be. There's a rotation in your life. It's taking place. It's turning. When things turn around, that means it begins to rotate. I tell you, there's a shift and there's a rotate that God is doing in the realm of the spirit concerning your life. The word of God says, he says that I will perfect those things that concern you. Glory to God. And God is turning some things around because this is your time of turnaround. This is your time for turnaround. This is your time for God to do what he desired for you and what the enemy meant for bad. Glory to God. God is making it good. Let me tell you, in the midst of what you're dealing with right now, I prophesy your turnaround that even the things that you've been expecting God for, God is about to exceed your expectations. He's about to do a Ephesians 3 and 20. That God, the word of God says, God will do the exceedingly abundantly according to the power that working in us. God is about to exceed your expectations. But let me explain something about your turnaround moment. Let me explain about what God is doing in the midst of your turnaround because sometimes we will miss our divine moment of turnaround because we're expecting God to do things a certain way but the word of God said God will exceed our expectation so even as your turnaround begins to take place you got to make sure you don't miss your moment of it because sometimes we can miss understand our turnaround and then we'll miss our moment with God because we're not recognizing we're not discerning how God is turning and changing the thing around in your place it may even be considered of God begin to move and rotate some things in your life it may be some friendship maybe some relationships no matter what way that God finds defines to do that we have to recognize and discern that it is God and know that he will exceed a way that we would do it the the word of God said his thoughts are not our thoughts, neither are his ways our ways. We can't even comprehend the way that God is going to do a certain thing, but we have to have a discernment. In your turnaround, in the time of your turnaround, of God bringing your turnaround this month, you're going to have to make sure that you discern the turnaround.
Because sometimes, because we don't really understand and have clarity, we will forfeit our turnaround because we're not quite understanding how God is going to do a thing. He says in his words in Romans, he says, all things will work together for the good who love them and who are called according to his purpose. God loves you so much. And let me tell you, I don't care what you've been through, what you've been going through or what you're facing right now. God is a God that will be able to do anything that is need to be done in your life because there is nothing that is too hard for our God. It doesn't matter if you're in a hard place right now, but God will begin to turn some things around. The word of God says he's a God that will make the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth. Somebody who's watching here on this morning, you've been in a rough place, but let me tell you, even in your roughness, God is turning some things around. You know, when sometimes things have to be, be when they, they're in a rough place and, and you're, you're, you're getting ready to say and, and, and make sure that, that you're getting ready to make some repairs for your walls. And, and in some time in doing that, you have to smooth the wall out so that you can get a smooth surface of some things. And you've been in a rough place. But can I tell you that that, is, that rough place in your life is just getting ready to make a smooth pathway for you to be able to walk in into the victory that you need to be able to walk in the deliverance that you need to be able to walk in the power of God that you need. It is only smoothing the surface to make your pathway straight. Glory to God. I feel the presence and the power and the anointing of God for your turnaround this morning. God will be able to make the crooked places straight and the rough places smooth in your life. Glory to God. And you can expect it. And if you can believe it, the word says you will be able to receive it. But not only that, we will be able to discern the way that God is doing a turnaround in and through our lives. But we're going to have to make sure that we are able to believe that he can do it. Glory to God. You got to make sure that you believe without of a shadow of a doubt, no matter what it look like, no matter what it seem like. It may look like you're in the darkest hour and in your life, but you have to know like without of a shadow of a doubt, even as Abraham says, I know that my God, glory to God. He says, I know that my God is able to do just what he promised. I don't care what it looked like. I don't care the negativities toward it. But if God said it, it will be so because the word of God is forever settled. The word of God is forever true. And the word of God is forever stable. And nothing can shift or alter the word of God. When he have promised a thing, guess what? He will bring it to pass. He said, will I speak it and shall not bring it forth? Shall I say it and shall I not do it? He's not a man that he shall lie. Neither is he the son of man that he has to repent for anything. But what he says, the word of God says, our God is faithful. He's faithful to his word. And when we release the word of God and when we stand up on the word of God, he's always looking for his word to perform. it. God is about to perform something in your life that is called your turnaround glory to God it is your turnaround season but you have to make sure first of all that you're able to discern the turnaround in your life and not be able to think that this is where God gonna do a thing when he's doing something totally different to bring about your turnaround the next thing you're gonna have to do is be able to believe the word of God in Romans 4 according to Abraham that he knew without a shadow of a doubt you have to know, don't let nothing discourage you. Don't let nothing deter you. Don't let nothing take your word, but hold on to your word that God is speaking in your life, that this is a month for you, a turnaround in every day that you wake up, every moment that you lie down in the bed of God and you get up, you say, this is my month of turnaround. I declare and I decree that it is so because the word of God says, he will turn some things around in and through my life. Glory to God. And as you begin to discern that God will be able to turn things around, you're going to be able to have to put what you believe into action. You're going to have to be able because God will do his part. He will do just what he said he will do. But we uh, as people of God, we have to make sure that we do our part because God wants us to be able to participate 
and what he's doing to show him that we believe what he says. Because the word of God says, according to Hebrew chapter 11 and 6, he says, our God, he is a God that is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You've been seeking him. You've been praying. You've been knocking. You've been asking. And guess what? The, he's creating a surface in, in, a, in a rotation to be able to allow these doors to be open. But as he do, you have to continue you work in your faith and putting your faith into action. The word of God says that Paul says that which he has spoken, I believe. And therefore the very thing that I believe him for, I spoke it. Glory to God. As you begin to experience your turnaround and de begin to declare and decree that it is your turnaround month, you're going to have to continue speaking it. You're going to have to declare that, declare that what you believe is going to have to come out of your mouth. Your words is going to be able to form and create the atmosphere of the breakthrough that you desire. It's going to create the deliverance that you desire. It's going to bring forth the healing that you desire for your turnaround. The bad, even the affliction in your body, God will begin to turn it around and bring forth a healing. The very thing that has you in a stronghold upon your life. God will begin to bring deliverance in that hour. I declare and decree that somebody is watching this telecast on this morning. You may be been struggling with any kind of addiction, whether it's pharmaceutical or whether it's crack or whether it's marijuana. No matter what the addiction is, we serve a God that has a break, destroying anointing that will come in and break the strongholds off of your life. There is nothing that you're facing right now is too hard for God to bring forth a turnaround. The only thing you have to do is cry out to him. The word of God says the righteous cried out glory to God and God delivered them out of all. You are not in the place where God can hear you. You're not in a place where God would listen to you. He says those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Glory to God. What the enemy tried to entrap you with, with anything that hold you bound, put strongholds on your life. If you begin to call upon the name of the Lord, he says you shall be he said, the word of God said, when you begin to call up on the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue must confess that he is Lord. And there's not a stronghold in your life that God cannot bring a divine turnaround and cause the anointing of God to break and destroy the yokes in your life. Glory to God. God is a God that want to come into your circumstances on this month. I declare it is this month. You've been struggling too long. And you don't, you, you, you haven't even come to a place to, to, to help, to say that God, you know, I don't know, I don't know what to do about this. Well, guess what? On this morning, the word of God says, just, just cry out to him. And as you begin to cry out to him, he says, he will deliver you. He said, just cry out in, uh, to him and he will hear your cry. Because that's the kind of God of a turnaround that we serve. And right now, the enemy may have told you and spoken all kind of things, say, you can't come out of this. You don't have enough strength to be able to get out of this. But the word of God says earlier that where the enemy was trying to weaken you, it is only making you stronger. There's a strength in you. That's on the inside of your inner man. That's on the inside of your spirit man. And I declare and decree on this morning, if you will draw from your spirit man, and you begin to denounce every activity of your flesh, it will bring about a breakthrough in your life because we serve a God that is a God of breakthrough and he is a breaker. He will go through and he will break up some stuff, tear up some stuff to for allow you to be able for your deliverance to come forth, your healing to come forth or whatever type of manifestation you need from God. That is the God that we serve, that he is able to do whatever it is you need to be done. So know that even in your struggling, and, and, and I'm mainly talking to those who, who, who are really struggling, really bound by the enemy this morning. I, I'm talking about those who are bound by, by drugs and pills and pharmaceutical. God loves you. In spite of where you are, God loves you. And he's a God that is a God of deliverer. And he sent me to this morning to be able to encourage you, to send you this word of deliverance, to say on this morning that even as he says in Psalm 44 and 4, I command deliverance for Jacob 
in the name of Jesus. I command deliverance for you on this morning that your deliverance and your turnaround for your deliverance is coming now. In the name of Jesus, because our God is strong and he is big. He is a God of a breakthrough. He is a God that is a warrior. And let me tell you, he's warring for you right now. He's warring on your behalf right now against every principality, every against, every against, uh, every up against every weakness and ruler and powers in dark and high places. He's, he got his host of angels warring for you to be able to bring forth your breakthrough on this morning. Because God wants some things to turn around in and through your life. And we declare it and decree it to be so. I tell you on this morning. We know that the word of God begins to speak of in Acts about Paul and Silas and, and how when they were bound by the enemy and the enemy wanted to put shackles on their feet and, and, and handcuffs on their hands to be able to hold them bound. And, and I'm talking about somebody that's been shackled by some things that the enemy has been holding you bound and you feel like you don't have enough strength or uh, tenacity to get back up. But the word of God says, as Paul and Silas begin to praise and worship their God, right there where you are, all of you all that is viewing me, right where you are, if you will get up from where you are and stand up to your feet and put a praise up on your situations, I declare and decree the word of God says, as Paul and Silas begin to praise and worship God, the word of God says there was an earthquake that took place. There was some shaking that was taking place right where you are. If you begin to praise God and begin to thank God for whatever it is that you need in your life, you're going to begin to see God break the, the very foundation of that thing that's been holding you bound. The very thing that was trying to hold you captive is going to allow you to become free. Just begin to praise him. Just take a praise break right now and begin to praise God like you never ever praised him before. Praise him as if you was in one of those saints games cheering the saints on. Begin to praise and worship God and begin to see the, the very foundation of some things begin to shake off of your life. You're going to begin to feel a shaking. You're going to begin to feel that even the, 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 the ashes that, that where the enemy has come up in, and where he has called, called you to be in the fire, even like Matt, uh, Matt, Reshach and the Benigo, even then when they were in the fire, when the enemy thought that he was going to destroy them and burn them up. But God gave them a divine a turnaround because even in the midst of the fire, he was present there with them. He was there with them in the midst. Somebody right now feel as though that God has not been there. But can I declare and decree to you on this morning? He was there and he is there all the time. And the word of God says that the enemy thought that they were going to take him out. But guess what? God turned some things around for them. And, and I don't know where you are in your life. And there may be some things that seems like your life and situations have heated up. But I tell you, God is right in the midst of it. And his angels is all encamped around about you. And the very fire that the enemy has set and tuned up in your life, it will not burn you and it will not destroy you. But I tell you what the turnaround will do. It will give you beauty for your ashes. Only thing that will burn, only thing that will be consumed is everything that is not like God. But the rest will bring joy to your heart because he is going to give you beauty for your ashes. Everything that looked it ugly in your life. Everything that looked it like it came up against you to destroy your life and made you shame and made you feel like you wasn't worthy. God says, I'm going to give you beauty in that area. I'm going to beautify it. All of that stuff, the way the way they talk about you and talk down to you and say you wasn't going to be nothing and you wasn't going to be nobody. But God is going to bring about beauty to that situation. Glory to God. And he's going to bring a divine rehearsal. And the word of God says, as Paul and Silas begin to praise and worship God, the very foundation was shaken. And it brought about a breakthrough, not only for them. Because let me tell you something, people of God. 
everything that you're going through right now is not even about you. It's not even about me. It's about what God trying to do through you uh, to allow someone else to be free. Glory to God. Nothing you go through in your life will ever be wasted. But God will use it as a divine turnaround and use your life as an example so that you will be able to go back and strengthen in helping your brother and your sister. And the word of God says the shackles begin to fall and they were set free. And all those who, who were in there, they were set free. Let me tell you, there's some people in your life that have seen you in your struggle, seen you in your mess, seen you in your deliverance. And they are waiting for you to become free because when you come, become free by the power of the spirit and the Holy Ghost and the fire of God, everything else around you will be free because they will look at your life and say, look what the Lord has done. I tell you, people of God, this is your month of turnaround and God is is turning some things around. He's repositioning some things in your life because he's getting ready to do something that you would not even ever thought that he would do. Glory to God. Receive the word on, of the Lord on this morning. Begin to praise and worship God like you have never ever praised him before because this is the month. I declare it and I decree it that this is the month of your divine turnaround in and through your life. God is turning it around for you. God is turning it around for you. Prophetess, why do you keep saying that? Because I want it to resonate down so in your spirit. That every time the enemy tell you something other than that, you will hear my voice and you will hear the words of the Lord that is speaking through these airwaves. And it will remind you and it will encourage you so that you will be not you will not be able to become discouraged anymore, but you will become encouraged. And for every disappointment that was in your life will become a divine apartment with God. This is your moment for God to turn some things around just for you. For additional information regarding upcoming retreats and seminars, please call 504-450-9270. Remember, it's more than an experience, it's an encounter. Well, praise the Lord. I just want to take time to invite you. We're preparing for experiencing 48 hours in the presence of God. Our annual women retreat hosted by Prophetess Beverly Lewis and Elder Sean Rogers. You would want to come. I want to thank you all who have went registered, but also seating is limited and we only have limited space available. So if you would like to come to experience the 48 hours in the presence of God, go to the website. We will have the information located at the bottom of the screen go register now our theme this year is it was necessary everything that you went through it was necessary i tell you you don't want to miss this moment you don't want to miss this time 48 hours in the presence of the lord come i'll be looking forward to seeing you there